ELISA stands for enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, and it is the process whereby proteins or antibodies in solutions are detected by antibodies specific to them in a 96-well high-throughput system. There are two main types of ELISA, either direct or capture, and both processes can be used to measure protein in a solution or antibodies from serum from either an infected person or following vaccination. In a capture ELISA, an excess of antibodies specific to your protein of interest is bound to special high protein binding plates such as this one here. Unbound antibody is then washed off and any areas of the plate not bound by antibody are blocked using a non-specific protein such as serum albumin. The protein of interest is then added which binds to the capture antibody and is held in place while another protein specific antibody, the detection antibody, is added. This detection antibody is bound by a third antibody which is tagged with an enzyme called horseradish peroxidase, or HRP for short. Finally, the presence of the enzyme is detected by adding the enzyme substrate, a chemical called tetramethylbenzidine, or TMB for short. Upon exposure to HRP, the TMB turns from a clear liquid to a blue liquid, and the intensity of the blue signal will correlate to the amount of HRP and hence your protein of interest. To stop the reaction, acid, normally sulfuric acid, is added to the well and the blue reaction product turns to a yellow reaction product, which can be quantified in a plate reader at a wavelength of 450 nanometers. A direct ELISA follows a very similar procedure to a capture ELISA, except that in the first instance, the protein of interest is bound directly to the plate, after which the processes are the same as for the capture ELISA, as shown here. In both a capture and direct ELISA, it's possible to detect and quantify a protein of interest using known antibodies or antibodies of interest using known proteins. In the ELISA shown here, I am detecting antibodies to the HIV envelope protein from guinea pigs that have been immunized with an experimental vaccine candidate. ELISA plates were coated overnight with an excess of the HIV envelope protein that was used in the vaccine, and then any unbound protein is washed off using a robot. Areas of the plate not bound by protein are blocked using bovine serum albumin solution and each individual guinea pig serum is then serially diluted and following another wash step it's added to the protein coated plates with the lowest dilution added first. Any envelope specific antibodies in the serum will bind to the protein in the well and then this is detected with an HRP tagged antibody specific for guinea pig antibodies. Finally, the HRP is detected with addition of the TMB ELISA substrate which over a 10 minute period develops from a clear liquid into a blue solution. To stop the reaction, sulfuric acid stop solution is added, producing a yellow liquid for quantification. As you can see here, the pre-immune samples on the left of the plate do not have any antibodies, indicated by the lack of a yellow solution, whereas the samples taken 10 weeks after immunization on the right show a strong signal, indicating the presence of antibodies to envelope, which can be quantified based on the dilution series.